One of the most common failure points in a solar system isn't the solar panel or the inverter. It's the cable connection. And a lot of times, it's the luck. In this video, I will show you why cheap lucks fail and how to spot the good ones. You can see many of these lucks being sold online. They look great at first, but are they? Let's take a closer look. Can you spot the cheap one? You probably all guessed it right. This one is the cheap and this one is the expensive. Let's weigh them. The cheap one weighs 5 grams or 0.2 ounces. And the expensive one weighs 0.4 ounces or 12 grams. That's because there's simply less copper in the cheap one. I'll talk about how to spot quality lugs later in the video. Let's crimp a cheap lug using the correct die of 25 mm square or 4 gauge. When I finish the crimp, let's do a pull test. So I now crimped the lug and let's now do a pull test. You can see it came right off. Now you might think you can crimp it with a smaller die of 16 mm square or 6 gauge. Let's take a look at what happens. When you use a smaller die, the copper is squished and will not make a good contact. I also crimped a good look and then I cut it in half and you can see the copper strands are fused into one solid conductor. That's called a cold weld. It's not heat or melting, it's pressure from the hydraulic crimper. And that's exactly what you want, a strong gas tight connection. Why? Because once air gets in around the strands, corrosion begins. Cheap lugs often have an air gap, as you can see here, which lets in moisture and oxygen. And over time, that weakens the connection and increases resistance. Most lugs come with a tint layer to avoid corrosion. But when I scrape the tin layer of a cheap lug, it's very thin and comes off right away. And when I scrape the tin layer of a good lug, it's much thicker, which will less likely become corroded. So how do you avoid the bad quality lugs? First, you can check the pictures of the reviews people are leaving. You can usually spot the tin walls. Secondly, and usually the most useful, is the price. $23 for 120 lux is a dead giveaway. Quality lux will cost you at least $1 a piece and not 20 cents. I get my lux from an online electrician store. And I also got these quality lux from AliExpress. I also found a few quality lugs on Amazon with a flared connection, which makes it easier to insert your cables. And I will link both of them in the description. So how do you crimp cable lugs? It's quite easy. First, choose a lug with the right cable diameter and the right hole. This is displayed on the lug itself. For this lug, it's 25 millimeters with an M8 hole. In the US, this is 4 gauge with a 5 16 inch hole. Then you strip the cable and add the lug. And then you crimp the lug using a hydraulic crimper. If you have longer lugs, like the one I have here for a project of mine for 1 gauge cable, then start crimping from the lug and the second crimp should be made closer to the cable. And then at the end, 
you will add heat shrink, preferably with glue. Your whole solar system depends on good connections. Saving a few dollars on Lux is not worth the risk of overheating or starting a fire. Spend the extra dollar per lug and crimp it with a $40 hydraulic crimper and it will bring you peace of mind. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, press the like button and you can watch this video next. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.